praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. And it says, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more than precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This life, this walk is full of trials. It is definitely full of trials. Anybody who says everything's going to be just peachy keen, we don't grow. We don't get closer to God unless we go through trials and our faith is strengthened. Jesus said in Matthew 7, verse 14, because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. Note that he said, difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. We uh, we want to be comfortable, we want everything, but that we got to go through the fire to be purified, to be sanctified, to get rid of the things in us that need to go. It is part of the walk. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Psalm 34, 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Amen. Praise the Lord. It doesn't say, oh, uh, everything is smooth here. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The righteous are those who put their trust in the Lord but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Amen. And other verses coming to mind that I don't even have here is through much tribulation that we enter the kingdom of heaven. Praise the Lord. Even 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, but may the God of all grace who called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Jesus said in John 16, verse 33, these things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. We can rest in him. We can trust in him through every trial, through every pain, through all every offense, all of that stuff. Everything is working for our good because we love God. That is what the word tells us, that all things work for good for those who love him. And so we may not understand it because his ways are far beyond our ways, uh, but we can trust him and we can trust him with our loved ones as well. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your very timely word. We can hear in the testimonies and prayer requests that things are a little tough for some of us right now, but we pray that you cause us to greatly rejoice through our trials and give us the faith that test our faith so it's pure and perfect so that we can just praise you for all your goodness, all your mercy, all of your love now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.